Hi there and welcome to another installment of World Football News. This time round we will be looking at an article that appeared in Goal. This one was written by Soham Mukherjee. Well it reads, I am worried. Former Manchester City chief reveals concern over 115 charges and admits this is really really heavy stuff. Former Manchester City chairman David Bernstein is worried over the 115 financial charges the club are facing at the trial of the century. So here's what happened. While City have been accused of violating financial fair play rules over a nine year period from 2009 to 2018 and are now the subject of a long awaited hearing. The legal process, which began on Monday, is expected to last for approximately two months, with the final verdict unlikely to be revealed before spring of 2025. So here's the bigger picture. Well, the charges cover a range of alleged breaches, from a failure to provide accurate financial details to non-cooperation with Premier League authorities during the investigation, which could result in serious consequences for the club. The Arsenal's penalty could see City relegated from the Premier League, although fines and points deductions are also potential outcomes if they are found guilty. So here's what David Bernstein said. Bernstein, who served as Manchester City's chairman from 1998 to 2003, said his concerns about the charges in an interview with Sky Sports. He noted the gravity of the situation and expressed his unease as both a former chairman and a lifelong fan of the club. I'm not surprised it has got to this state. There are 115 charges. They cover a wide period of time and on the surface, they are serious charges and have to be answered. Bernstein said, in a way, they should have got this resolved somewhat earlier, but these things do take time. I'm a City fan, as well as being an ex-chairman, and I'm worried. On the surface, they look to be serious charges. City will have the best lawyers, they will defend themselves as they absolutely have the right to do, and we will see what happens in the end. This truly is really heavy stuff. So here's some more did you know news. City have enjoyed tremendous success over the last 15 years, transforming from a mid-table club to one of the world's most dominant football teams. Under the guidance of Pep Guardiola, City recently became the first team in Premier League history to win four consecutive league titles. However, Bernstein is concerned that this remarkable achievement could be overshadowed if the club is found guilty of breaching financial regulations. It is a shame because the club has come from where it was, a club that was underperforming for many years, to become arguably the greatest performing club of all time, with four Premier League titles in a row, Bernstein explained. To have the possibility of that being tarnished is really sad, but we will see what happens. We may find that they are not guilty of these things at all. So what's next for Manchester City? Well, City have been charged with 54 counts of allegedly failing to provide accurate financial information during 2009 to 2018, which includes a failure to disclose accurate details regarding player and manager payments on 14 separate occasions. In addition, City faces five charges related to non-compliance with UEFA's financial fair play rules between 2013 and 2018. Furthermore, Manchester City have been charged with allegedly violating the Premier League's profitability and sustainability rules on seven occasions between 2015 and 2018. To compound the situation, City are also facing 35 charges of allegedly failing to cooperate with the Premier League's investigation, which started in December of 2018. A guilty verdict could tarnish the legacy of one of the most successful clubs in recent English football history. Well, that then brings us to the end of this particular piece of news. What do you make of it? Do you agree that what the Premier League is doing at the moment to Manchester City will, say, derail them from their plans to chase another title, will cause them to underperform in some of the other competitions? Or do you think that um, they will not be faced by this in, in any case or at all? So... I don't know what's going to happen. Um, like Bernstein said, he also doesn't know, but it is definitely um, something really serious. And well, there is going to be some answering um, to be done from the club side. Um, why didn't they want, want the Premier League to see their books or 
cooperate with the, the, the Premier League when it comes to the, the financial aspect um, of running the club. Well, maybe they do have something to hide, but we will only find out in time. Please leave me your thoughts down below and we can discuss this further. Do you agree with Manchester City? Are you on Manchester City side or are you on the side of the Premier League? Who's at fault? Please leave me your thoughts down below and we can discuss this. Until next time though, this is World Football News.